Well, sometimes it turns pink. Yeah. Have you seen it? Emmett, come here. Because it's loaded with phenols. <laughs> Drink coconut water, guys. Loaded with potassium and sodium. You can put this stuff right in an IV in your veins. It's like plasma. Drip, drip. What's on the tip? I got a little bit of that rice ferment. Oops. This looks like a spoonful of wasabi. About to do that EM. About to do that EM. Effective microorganism. <laughs> microorganism. <laughs> Effective microorganism. Mm. Mix it with the milk. Ooh, ooh. Got to get that organic for the silk. Ooh, ooh. Man, I'm trying to grow my humus. Ooh, ooh. With a little biodynamic. Ooh, you can't mm. have that. Rudolph. Man, I'm not talking about that red nose reindeer going into the cold out here, standing in here with my deer, with my wasabi. All right, go ahead, man. Hey, everybody, it is part two of the Bokashi composting. We're making our effective microorganisms. We have this rice ferment. We let this sit for seven days. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to strain this out over this measuring cup to see how much we have and we do not want those little bits of stuff that's in there so that's why we're hitting with the strainer so the reason that we're pouring this into a measuring cup is because we need to measure out 10 parts milk for one part of this rice water all right Let's see how much rice water we have in cups. Do we even have, do we even have a cup of rice water? Seven. Well, it's six ounces, percent, so we could do sixty ounces of milk, right? Yeah, six ounces. We can do sixty ounces of milk. That works. Okay. All right. So we're gonna uh, be pouring. We're gonna be putting all this together in this gallon jug here. We're just using this cutting board thing as a funnel. Rice water, and we're gonna pour a gallon container. All right, now we just need 60 ounces of milk. We're using organic milk. By the way, this rice water does not smell good. <laughs> And we're going to have to do this six times. Alright. Is it on? Yeah. Alright, so we have one part of rice water, ten parts milk. So we had six ounces of our rice water ferment, and we have just added 60 ounces of milk. We're just going to give it a nice spin, close this on up, and we're going to put it in a dark, cool place to sit and ferment for another week, and then we'll be back to you with part three. Part three of that Bokashi, hey, kill it. Part three of that Kill it. Part three of that Bokashi. Get that Bokashi.